and I think I read on the floor of the legislature that we are the only state that actually completely eliminated a line item for family planning. Well, that, that's not the New Jersey I know. It's not the New Jersey that we all represent, and it's not the New Jersey that all of you represent. We're going to change this. What happened today was a bit disconcerting. Uh, the um, people from the other side of the aisle, the Republicans, who originally voted for this bill, refused to vote for the override on the basis the money isn't there. The governor keeps maintaining, and people from the other side of the aisle, that this only has to do with budget. I think we've proven that that is not so. This is the governor's tip of the hat to the right wing in his party. You know, there's party loyalty, and then there's, we were sent here to represent the people who need us to represent them. I believe that this is uh, very much about the governor's control of what's going on in the legislature, about however he convinced his colleagues that party loyalty and loyalty to him personally was more important than women's health. We dropped in today two new bills. The new legislation uh, will take $5 million out of a line item that is used uh, for uh, some issues around uh, the housing of inmates, state inmates, into county facilities. $5 million that again looks overfunded and is in reserves. So that's one aspect that $5 million will be redirected to the family planning clinics. The second piece of legislation actually uh, directs the Department of Health and Senior Services to put in a plan amendment, very simple procedure, to raise the poverty level of those we cover under Medicaid from 133% of the federal poverty level to 200% and that will bring us a nine to one match. Every dollar we spend will bring us nine dollars in federal money. If the governor is against that, I'd like to, him to give us a good reason why he is. Assemblywoman Stender said that these two bills will be moving in the assembly during the next month, uh, and the Senate president said that he would be posting these bills as soon as possible. So I would hope that we're gonna see very quick action.